Okay, converting between quadratic forms. This one's factored form into standard form. Okay. Factored form again, a times x minus p times x minus q, and we're going to convert that into ax squared plus bx plus c of standard form. Okay. One thing to notice again, the a values. The a values are always going to stay the same. Okay, so our a value in this example problem is negative 3 in factored form. So when we're in standard form, our a value, the number in front, should also be negative 3 again. All right, so let's run through these. If you're going from factored form into standard form, all it is is simplifying. All you have to do is, it's two quick steps. You're going to FOIL the two binomials and then distribute. So let's do that. Start with FOIL. So this one I got y equals negative 3 times x minus 6 times x plus 1 binomial times binomial. So we'll do the first, the outside, the inside, and the last. Okay. And that's going to give us the negative 3. It's going to stay out front for now. x times x, x squared. Outside, x times 1 is 1x. One Inside, negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And then last, negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. Okay. Now again, part of FOIL, after you do the FOIL, you have to combine like terms if you can. And in this case, we can. Almost always the inside, outside. Now again, you could skip that step. Well, you could do the FOIL and do a trinomial in your head. That's fine. Okay. But first problem, I'll show all the steps. That negative 3 is just hanging out front. x squared, combine the inside-outside terms to give you negative 5x, 1x one, one minus 6x, and then minus 6. And then your instinct on this next part is probably correct. You're going to want to distribute that number in front. So that a value, that number in front, if there is one, you're going to have to distribute through the trinomial. All right. So we distribute the negative 3. Negative 3 times x squared is thir negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 5x is positive 15x. And then negative 3 times negative 6 is plus 18. And that is standard form. Now, again, it's not asking for this. It's just asking to convert. But when you're doing these, you should go through and just figure out what you could find. Okay. So from the original problem, it was in factored form. So you knew the x-intercepts right away. The x-intercepts are the opposite, the p and the q. So the x-intercepts in that one was 6 and negative 1. Now, again, standard form, standard form, you could find the y-intercept right away. The y-intercept is always a c-value, so in this problem, the y-intercept is 18. Okay. So just going through these problems and finding, you know, the getting the information that you can is always a good, kind of a good practice. All right, let's do one more. If you think you're comfortable, you can skip it. Uh, let's do... Uh, so we have f of x, again f of x and y are interchangeable. Let's do f of x equals negative one half x plus four times x plus ten. Okay. Now again, two quick steps. Foil, distribute, and then you're done. So let's FOIL. The A value is negative one half. So again, the A value should stay negative one half in our final answer. Uh, FOIL, first outside, inside, last, x squared. Outside, 10x, inside, 4x. It's going to give me 14x. And then last, 4 times 10 is 40. All right, distribute. Distribute the negative one half. Negative one half 
times x squared, negative 1 half times 14x, negative 7x, and then negative 1 half times 40 is negative 20. Okay. And again, that's it. Now we're in standard form. Okay, again, notice the a value. The a value doesn't change. It never changes in any of these problems. Negative 1 half is what the a value that started. Negative 1 half is the a value we ended with. All right, that is factored form and standard form. Okay, that one's pretty easy. Basically two steps, foil, combine if you can, distribute, done.